So um, I should have probably should have defined current, and I want to define current in a careful way because this is something that you will see um, a lot. And depending on what reference material you're looking at, you might even see something like this. I is equal to dq dt. And I try to never write this down without there being some sort of explanation. Um, because I think it's important for you to know exactly what we are measuring here. So, so with the current, we are trying to measure a flow rate of how quickly the charges are flowing. What, uh, how do you think we should measure it? What's, um, I don't know, reasonable, uh, uh, let me put it this way. In what unit should we measure current? Well, it might relate to voltage, but um, we will eventually relate it to voltage, but not right now. All the, right now, all that voltage is doing is that it's just maintaining this, um, so there being this voltage difference, it's just saying that, you know, um, something is being done from outside to maintain this charge separation by continuous flow of the charges. So I can, I, this is what I'm imagining. Imagine you are, um, well, imagine you are a little observer standing here looking at all these charges flowing. And the other ends are so far away that you are not going to be able to see it. You don't really see any voltage difference. I want you to describe, OK, as an observer standing here, what can I measure to see what my current is? Or let me put it this way. Um, so the most uh, useful analogy to build up your intuition about electrical current is when you say the word current, what else do we call current? Can you tell me other you know, words that are not electrical current, but would be used with a noun current, not the adjective current? River current. Right, river current. Um, so this, uh, this word reminds you of river current, or ocean current, or whatever. In that context, what does the word current refer to? Flow of water, right? So that's what I want you to imagine here. So here I was drawing the picture of um, electrical things. But if you imagine this as just a water pipe, and there's water flowing through it, then th that would give you a, a usable, useful analogy to electrical current. So I want you to think of measuring this electrical current as, well, we want to measure it the exact same way we would measure water current. So if you have water current, in what units do you think you would measure water current in? OK. So there are different ways of measuring water current. So imagine you have a pipe here. So I think one of the, what Kevin was trying to say was you, you were describing the water velocity. As in, imagine this is filled up with the water. Then if you are tracking a little section of this water here, I don't know, I can't draw. Why can I draw? Well, if you are draw, uh, tracking this little section of water, um, you can imagine dropping a little bit of ink droplet and see how fast it's moving. And you are trying to measure some uh, flow speed. So um, flow speed. But that doesn't actually tell you um, how much water is flowing. Because this rate can be really high, but the, the water pipe can be so narrow so that not much amount of water is flowing. So when I, when I talk about the word flow rate, really what I'm interested in is with the total amount of water that's flowing. So how would you, in what unit would you measure the total amount of water that's flowing? Something like a gallons, some unit of amount per time, right? So flow rate, you would, so it would be, um, denominator would be second. And the numerator will be something that indicates how much amount. It can be volume, like gallons. Or if you're trying to keep to SI units, it might be kilograms if you're doing it by mass. Or if you're doing it by volume, it might be cubic meter. So that's how we measure flow rate with any fluid. And I want you to separate this flow rate from the flow speed. It's two different th things. 
And it's the same thing with the current here. So with the current, mainly what we are interested in is the flow rate. So how much charge is flowing in a given amount of time. So the unit that um, you should measure current in is it's going to be in coulombs. Amount of charge, unit of charge, right? It's going to be measured in coulombs per second. So how are we counting the amount of charges? So, so I mean, so this is the unit it's going to be in. Uh, but let me actually describe how you this guy would actually measure current. So, um, so Miguel, when you said you measure flow rate in gallons per hour, uh, how do you measure the gallons per hour? You measure how much water travels from one location to another location throughout that period of time. Okay, one location to another location. So this is a picture I can kind of imagine doing. Here's a water reservoir here that you are drawing water out of. And here's the, here's the water reservoir at this other end that you are putting water into. And what you are saying is, you look at, all right, how much water this has lost? And how much water this has gained? And, um, and it would be the same amount. And if you are saying that your flow rate was one gallon per hour, then in one, which is very slow, um, then in one hour, you would have seen this rise by amount of one gallon, right? That's what you're saying, right? Now, I want to change the description of this in a way that I have a local description. As in, I can, so here, I had to look at the entire picture globally. As in, I had to look at how much was lost here, how much was gained here. I mean, they're gonna be the same. But I had to kind of look at the entire system. I want to come up with a way of measuring this so that I can actually look at a single point. The way your uh, meters are set up, both the water meters and the electricity meter in your house, it's set up at a single point. Like a meter doesn't have access to um, anything else in the house except the single point it is. So I want to describe how we measure flow rate. If all we have access to is let's say a single point here. So at this single, well, I say point, but this single cross section, um, let's say that's all I have access to. How I, would I measure flow rate? Oh, we're gonna say something, Chris? Um, would it be like velocity by the cross section of the pipe? So I could measure velocity, and actually we'll get to the description in a bit. But I want to describe it um, before describing any uh, fluid velocity. So I kind of want to ignore this fluid velocity description for now. So it, it's a really simple measurement. It's a simple measurement how much, um, so you know, it's, so this is the picture I want you to imagine. Some, you know, amount of water, which is all flowing at some speed. Now some of them will cross, let's say all these represent movement of water in one second. Some of these cross, some of them don't. But as someone, I guess, you could think of this like a toll gate. As the toll gate keeper, he can measure how many of the water, uh, particle water crosses, how much does it? Amount of water that crosses this point is what gets counted into this one gallon. Amount of water that doesn't, either because it's already on this side or because it's too far away on this side, then that wouldn't get counted. So when we talk about electrical current, it's the, so it is, <laughs> The qualitative description of that is number of charges per time. But I want you to be careful what we mean by number of charges. And the number of charges is, imagine that this guy is setting up a toll gate here, uh, sort of a single plane that, to the, uh, that goes through this material that has the cross-sectional area. And what this guy is counting is in one second, how many charges are crossing over from one side to the other side. That's all he's looking at. So when we say number of charges, it's the number of charges 
that, um, let me call it cross a checkpoint. That, that makes intuitive sense? All right. Um, so that's a, in this expression here, that's a, what's meant by delta Q. How, how many charges are crossing the checkpoint? 